What's up, America, the universe, the world? Hey, I guess it should have been the world and the universe, but it don't even matter. What's up? It is Just Damn Sports. I'm your host, Chris, a.k.a. MVP, and never capping. That's why I never wear a hat. Don't say anything. I know I got to get a haircut. But, hey, it's a special episode. It's Just Damn Sports. All right? I don't have my boy, my uh, my co-host, P. Gotti, here. All right, P., you missed. But... Ladies and gentlemen, we have an old G from the couch. Started from the bottom. Now we're here. We're in the studio. Real. But I Only got real. my boy, Jason Jones, a.k.a. Don't Big Arms. To what he says. <laughs> Big Arms is back in the building. What's Welcome that, back, man. Where you been at? Hey, man, uh, I had to take a little hiatus, but we back now, man. You know what I mean? So, uh, hey, good, good to be here with you, though, bro. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, you a miss, bro. <laughs> even you bigger miss. arms, bro. Nah. <laughs> hey, Chris, um, even bigger arms. America's no looking cap. right now. America's looking right now. They see his arms. My arms are small compared to him. Look at him. He's coming out of his shirt. And ladies and gentlemen, that is a 3X. Just want to let y'all know that. <laughs> But oh my gosh, it's good to have wildin', it's good to have you back, man. What do you think of the new digs, man? Hey, Cash kind of um, stepped up, huh? Hey, we man, y'all have been doing some big things, man. Um, just 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 checking out the the aura of the place. It's very welcoming, and people come in. And they do. So I'm looking I'm looking forward to it, man. Let's get this let's get this show on the road. Hey, listen, I, hey, you right about that. I'm just glad one thing. Cash hasn't told us. Hey, man, we gotta start over. Cash is on point, man. Hey, I'm hey, man. give it up to Cash, man. <laughs> give it up to Cash, up. bro. Well, I got Cash, hey, man. If you don't What's know up, who man? Cash is, he's the man that makes this all work. Hemp Entertainment. Hemp Entertainment. Y'all Make sure it, y'all go y'all subscribe, it, like. All right. Also, it's just damn sports. Yes, sir. Make sure you go subscribe, like, comment. All right. Beg to get AKA Big Arms back, Jason Jones back. Let us we know what we can do better so we can make this show a better show for you guys. Man, but let's man, get right man, into man. it, man. The Olympics just went off. Yeah. All right. Now, I know what I liked about the Olympics, but I want to hear what Jason Jones thought about the Olympics. Tell me what you thought, man. I mean, overall, it was, it was great. But uh, can I talk about what I don't like first? Oh, yeah, yeah. Go, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and hit you with I like, I like the reversal. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and okay? hit you with the don't go like. Go ahead. Man. What don't you like? Well, uh, t- just top two things. I okay, like. go ahead, hit it. You know, I'm, I'm starting number two. Okay, starting number two. All right, all right. Lyles and the COVID <laughs> test and that part, I, I ain't like that because I just felt like it was something going on with that. You know, and that's all I'm gonna say about it. <laughs> and then we're gonna move on to the biggest. The number one thing I didn't like is the Jordan Childs deal. Oh, with, with, you know, yeah. with the timing and the, you know, all the rules and stuff about that. Man, it was, it was, it was, it was crazy, man. And you know, um, I don't like if I was her. I'm flying back to the U.S. Like, if y'all want it, y'all got to come get it. Y'all got to come get it. Straight, straight up. It don't matter. <laughs> hey, once it's in her hand, she got it. Exactly. You like, know what I'm saying? Y'all can take me off the books, it, but yeah, I got it. Yeah, you know you what want I'm it, saying? You got, you got to come and get it. So, you know, uh, but shout out to her, man. I know she want, um, She needs uh, everybody's support during this time, man. But shout out to Jordan Law, man. In my eyes, she's still an Olympic champion. So. Hey, I, I'll tell you that. Like, um... By seconds, something about because yeah, yeah, the coaching yeah. to argue it within a minute. A they did it. They yeah. they argued it in a minute twenty or something. So he missed the window. Right. Um. So it was kind of like, what, what are we doing here? Like she technically won, but I get it. You've got a break. But I mean, that's those are things they should have done before you give out the award. Yeah. Like absolutely. don't don't give absolutely. me this whole oh everything's absolutely. done and then like oh wait a minute we we need to go back and we need to change. It. It's right, like right. Super Bowl or like when they the flake gate with the Patriots or whatever. Mm-hmm. Oh, well technically y'all cheated but no cuz like it, it's over, bro. Like yeah. he caught it, catch it then or don't catch it well, at all. Once, Keep once it moving. It's done, it's done. If, it's, if you like we you know we talk about, you know, referees on in NBA games or NFL games, but when you talk about Olympic officiating, yeah, like you got to be top tier. Top like it, tier. I'm, I'm sure you had got got to go through a certain amount of classes, put in a certain amount of hours of, of physical training and physical work. So, like you can't mess stuff stuff up like that. Right. You, you can't do it. So not not saying that it's impossible to mess it up, but how how many times has something like that been done in, in an Olympic uh, game? You know I, mean, I mean, I not I mean, that I can remember. Not saying right. that it has it, but it's it's kind of like what you said. This should have been a guy with a timer. Yeah. Once that timer goes off. And that coach tries to come. No, no, sorry, time's up. Like it it just got to be something like that. Um, I'm gonna tell you some things that I didn't like. I, I, I I like two things. I'm I'm gonna stick with your thing. I didn't like two things. Right. Go for it. Two things that I I I didn't like. I did not like the men's 
um, dream team this year, or the men's basketball okay. team this year. Talk, talk about that. Um, talk, I, I just felt like, okay, you have uber talent. Right. And it was just like Steve Kerr could never get the pulse of that team and didn't know how to play that team. Mm-hmm. Like, to me, it's like you have Jason Tatum sitting on the bench. Right. For a lot of games, Joel and Breed will play here, there, right. and I, I don't know if like yo on the side they had these conversations like, hey, listen, we're not gonna play that much, right. save you for the season, whatever. But it's like to me, it's like you brought this team to all these older players, right. LeBron, Steph, and all these people talked about how oh this is our last little ride, so right. you knew they were gonna play. Right. So if I'm Jason Tatum, I'm like. Why am I gonna go if I if I think I'm one of the best? Okay, go. But you got Kevin Durant in front of you. Right. You got LeBron James in front of you. Right. You got you got certain people in front of you that go to get their minutes. Right. So it's kind of like, are you mad you're not playing? But who's who they put in front of you? Like, cause like I'm looking at it like, <clears throat> again, I don't know basketball, but the people that were playing should have been playing. I mean, right. t- the the Indiana kid. Didn't play it barely at all. Um, you know, mm-hmm. Anthony Edwards played. Yeah. Booker played a little bit, but you got like just it just it just never looked good, man. Let me, let and we struggled. You, like why you right, let me ask you this. Do you think it was uh, a team that was so talented that Steve Kerr didn't know how to sub or how to or who to put in at the right time? Um it, that could have been a thing. I, I, like like you said, I don't, I don't really know basketball like that. Played a little bit, you know, back in the day. But what I do think is that when I heard that Jason Tatum didn't play, and I think it's got the guy's name is uh, Hilbert and Halbert yeah, from, ta- from the yeah, Indiana yeah, Pacers. Yeah, he's a baby. The yeah. only thing I can say about not not just those two, but a few of those players not playing is that they had to be setting them up for the LA games in in, in 2028. That, that's the only thing I can say Because you know yep. Like you know how you talk about it. They talk about Oh you know When New England go to Super Bowl It's like oh they've been here before Right, right? You know like if, if certain players Have been there before And they know LeBron probably ain't gonna be there In, in four years no, They have already talked about it You might not have a KD You might not have an MB And I'm pretty sure That those four probably Won't be there Right You know So Was it a stunt to say Hey, we want to get the young guys that we know are going to dominate the NBA in the next two to three years to be present with this, uh, with, with, with in these games of 2024, so that we can be prepared for 2028. That that's a question. Mark. That that's a good question, that's and maybe question that mark. maybe that was it. Maybe that was it. Maybe because yeah. I I mean I'm looking at the thing and I'm like, at crunch time, I'm not putting Jason Tatum on the floor anyway. Yeah. Like, you know, yeah. I, the crunch time when it was game was online, the people that were on the floor needed to be on the floor. Right. I mean, right. you know, so I, I think I totally agree with you mm-hmm. um, in that aspect. Uh, but it's just one of those things like it, I just didn't like it. It just never felt like we were really together. Like jail. You know, like yeah, jail. Yeah. And then, you know, yeah. supposedly leaked footage out there of LeBron James talking about Steve Kerr as an idiot, not playing, not playing him and everything like that. And I'm just like, bro, at the end of the day, bro. Um, if you're complaining about it, then why do you why are you going? Yeah. Like, cause you're playing more than anybody. Yeah. So if you That's so right. whose playing time right. is he supposed to take? And I know people basketball experts were like, well, he's a two, and and LeBron's this, and LeBron's a point guard, and all this. And all. I I get it. Okay, guys, right. I get it. I'm just telling you my opinion. You don't like it? Subscribe and like and comment. Then we That's can, right. talk, so about we can talk about it. We again. can talk about it. All right. So uh, look, look before we before we leave, let me ask you. When do we decide? When do we give credit? Like, I mean, we ain't talked about the Debbie, like the, the women's side. Oh, well, we're gonna talk about- but when do we give credit to France as a whole? Oh, yeah. Because the level of competition, the level of y'all ain't gonna just y'all ain't gonna just beat the hell out of it. <laughs> yeah. Like the level of that from them, I was like, bravo. At at the end of the game, uh, Victor, big man, women, yeah. Yama, whatever. Yeah. Like, what you crying for, he bro? Y'all just to y'all just put together a heck of a game. Versus, you know, like obviously all NBA players. Now their team might have had, I think, two, three, maybe. Yeah, I know, think like a couple, like guys. two, two. I know they had uh, Rudy Gobert, but the one that was balling didn't even play. Like, it, it doesn't even play in the NBA. Right. Now he just had a great game. So, right. you know, I, I agree so, with so you. So yeah. So when do we give them credit? You know, like for the like making it exciting. I think this is one of the most exciting um, Olympics I've ever watched. But at the same time, it's probably the only one I really paid attention to. Anyway. I you know keep you that. Is, I so, keep you, you that. Know. So shout, shout to all. Of you. Shout out. I, hey, you know what? You're right. And that was going to be one of the things I like. So 
we'll, cause we're gonna get back to that. So hold that thought too. Um, the main thing that I didn't like, I, the Olympics to me is such an amazing um, an event. Right. And they got more and more sports. Mm. I just truly feel that like they did not capitalize on promoting all the different things. Yeah. And I get it because like for sometimes sure. you like you like you sure. just flip it on and there's and yeah. there's there's yeah, table the, tennis for sure. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, bro, like like table tennis, they were getting down and all this stuff. And I'm like, bro, like this is actually kind of interesting. And then it's like quick to like this or quick to that. Like the water polo, the the synchronized swimming. Like I catch all this stuff like on Twitter feeds right. instead of like the, my TV feeds and stuff. And I get it. Like it's different time zones, everything like that. I just hope that the Olympics really try to promote some of these other other events because I think like a lot of people if you watch it man these these people training four years you know their whole lives for these moments Facts. and they get in these opportunities man and it's like but not even not enough people are seeing that just that. to be acknowledged yeah. like hey e- even though you might not be interested in hey this is the time that is you know this is the time, you know like the break dancing. Yeah. Like, <laughs> the break dancing. The break now, dancing. I'm not even going to lie. <laughs> I feel like it's some jokes that you can walk up or you can get off a subway in New York and find and, better break dancers than dancing, that, right? like, You know. Oh, my God. Kudos to them, but I feel like you can go to New York and find a joke off subway hey. that 65 years old can do better than what But listen, do. hey, that woman gave it all she got, <laughs> and it was like, what were you doing? Right. But the funny thing is, like, you know, you got to go to time trials and stuff like that. Yeah, to, yeah. So I'm just wondering, when she walked in and said, hey, I'm going to the Olympics. I want to try out for the di- break dancing team for <laughs> Australia or whatever, every other place. I wonder how many people were in that room. Like, was it just her and they just like, hey, you, you got it. Like, uh, <laughs> man, like, ex- exit like, left, right, front, back, up, or down. <laughs> just... This ain't the place for hey, you. The, Get out. Like they just, they just, she just walked up. She said, "Let me pick." Oh, nobody's in break dance. I like to ah, represent ah, break dancing. Who's who ever's in it? Hey, hey. Well, look. <laughs> hey, real, good for Lord. her. Hey, real good PhD. for her. Hey, uh, our, 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 pro, our manager just said that she has a PhD in break dancing. A real. Hey, PhD so PhD good for her. But um, yeah. I, I, I just like you said. I think we can find a, a person. On the street in New York, that can do something better than that. But that's just me. Um, but all right, let's let's switch to what we did like. Did like, okay. Okay. So let me say something. I want to say, I don't know what it is about the world. I don't know the shift or whatever. It's like the women movement, whatever like that. But I just gotta say, the women dominated, dominated hands down. All every woman Lord out there dominated. Man, y'all put on a show. Swimming, um, Olympic, I mean, gymnastics, um, soccer, uh, volleyball, football, uh, not football, but um, <laughs> track. I mean, it just I every, you name it. Yeah. You guys for dominated. Sure. Sure. Table tennis dominated. Yeah. Like, synchronized swimming dominated. Like, yeah. uh, I know, like, there was some um, countries that, um, like, I think China dominated, China, China had, yeah, swept China, in, like, yeah. the, um, the, the, the diving and stuff, stuff like that. Though, yeah. yeah, I get that. But I'm just saying, overall, women's dominance showed out. Now, like, I feel bad that security lost to her 100, but she did win gold in the 4 by one Yeah. Um, that girl just had a number. Like, I don't know. Yeah. That girl came out of nowhere sure. and For beat sure. her three straight times. Like, yeah. it wasn't even close. Yeah. Like, so I was hoping, like, you know, security's just trying to save it for the final, but, mm-hmm. like, the final, that girl took it. Yeah. Um, but overall, man, 4 by one the 400, I mean, just the dominance yeah. that we, we showed and the grace that we showed um, – I, I just got a shout out to the women's dominance. I loved it. Real talk. Um, real talk. The overall Olympics yeah. itself, man. I watched some events that I haven't never watched. Archery. I watched um, shooting. Uh, I mean, just things like that. Like when I was able to catch one or two, man. <laughs> I'll say, man, there's some very talented people out there in the world. Yeah, bro. Can y'all imagine like this big dude <laughs> watching archery? I was, I was out there like, huh? Oh, oh, watching archery. How, how the, the one lady lost because a bee landed on her hand. I was like. And they oh, can't that, get a oh, I, I, mean, sorry, I was man, like, but man, man. I'm telling you, right? yeah. I was in it. I, know, I was in it. Okay? All right, all right, all right. Who like all the women that was out there? Who who would like choose one? Who's your favorite, bro? Who's my favorite? Who's your favorite? Just just to watch and experience. <sighs> wow, like, um, you know, well, I can't say experience because you weren't there. In person, yeah, I wasn't like, there in person. I mean, like watch. honestly and truthfully, like 
I really can't pick one because like all of them have great storylines. Yeah. Um, the gymnast, I mean, she dominated the swimmer. Mm-hmm. Katie, McC- I, I mean, I don't know the name, so I'm not even going to try to pronounce because I'll, I'll be totally disrespectful <laughs> messing up these women's names. So I'm just going to say the swimmer, the gymnast, All uh, right. All <laughs> right. the the four by, 400 runner. I mean, like, I mean, just overall, I'm not going to lie. It was awesome to watch all of them. Like to yeah. be honest, even though the shout out to the women's U.S. basketball team, like I don't know if they just, uh, say, "Hey, let's make it close for the final." Right. Uh, France just said, "Hey, we're here." Yeah. Like you said, this is our home. We're in the finals. We're going to represent. But uh, I mean, just all of, it was just all pretty interesting to watch. But but looking at it, some of it overall, don't you think like watching the U.S. sometimes like they got like this stench of yeah. We the U.S. Oh, yeah. We're oh. we going to beat this country. You know? <laughs> like, don't you think they got that, like, as they walk in the door sometimes? Like, they're, they're like, and I think, too, that's why some of the stuff be closed. But let me talk about the top two, like, I can't talk. God, it's just so many. You're right. So many. <laughs> but, I mean, hands down, Sydney McLaughlin. Yeah. yeah. She went out there and said, you know what? She probably stood in the mirror that night, like, I'm going to break your record, like, your own record. <laughs> Like she just keep breaking we, her own record, you, bro. Like you, I'm, yeah, yeah, you me. Just like crazy. And then you gotta get Gabby Thomas. Yeah, I mean, I think she got, I think she got three, three of them. Like that's she, the women they killed it, man. And I just you know shout out to them, kudos to them, all of the above. Just like you say, like it's a, it was like it felt like a like an entire shift, like a movement, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? It so, did. um. I just shout out to the women that that got that went out there and um, that worked their tails off just as much, just as, as much as, as men do, I, and you know just just adding on that that respect to them. Because I truly think that they they try to promote men's things more, yeah. And I, sure. I think that's wrong. I, I truly think like the women are like neck and neck, man. Yeah. Because I what they're doing, the numbers they're putting up, all the all the stuff, I just think it's truly amazing. Um, I'm excited now. Hey, listen, I listen. I haven't watched. I watched the last Olympics of China. I was like, whatever. It is what it is. I watched this one. I got a little bit more excited. Maybe I'm a little bit older, so I'm ex- respecting it a lot more. Yeah. I'm expecting now. We're about to have a ball yeah. in four years. Yeah. Oh, and, oh, ain't no question. And we talk about dominance. Ain't no we question. better dominate being at home. Ain't That's no all question. I gotta say. L. A. Lights. Camp, like, yo, no it's, I, I might try to get out there, man. I, I, I might try. I, I already, I already I might, said that. I might try to get out there. I Even if I have to sleep on a corner, man. I might try to get out there just to, like, see something. Be that one guy, in the, that one black guy in the stands of drift, <laughs> of drafting, whitewater rafting. Whoa! Whoa! Like, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm watching, make, but yeah! going to make ESPN. Like, he's hey, going to make sports hey, center. They're like, he's going to make who, Twitter. Who is that uh, fan? He's going to make X, whatever it is. excited, bro. I'll be the table tennis. I'll be at all random events. Speed walking, I'll be that one guy right. at random events hey, just going walking. off. Like, hey, right. yeah. Hey, this, this is familiar right here. Hey, I'll be running next to the person. You can do it. We've been, <laughs> like, we've been out here 14, 12, 14 days, and we see this guy every, every day. day. <laughs> but but no, I'm, like, like I'm not going real. to any other, like, not, yeah. not the big times. I'm not, not, going, not the big time Not events, track yeah. and field, right, right, not right, soccer, right, right, right. not basketball. I'm not going to any. All small events. And I'm going to be, I'm going to be, y'all going to see me out there. Y'all going to be like, oh, do I know that guy? Yeah, the we, only we black one out yesterday. there, but I'm going to be out there. Hey, Man, representing. Like, look, I said the same thing. I said, look, as exciting as 2024 was as far as the Olympic stuff went, I'm like, all right, what I got to do, start, give me, give me, give me <laughs> chips yeah. together now. Like, hey, look. I'm trying to, I'm, I'm, give me a couple days out there at least. Yeah, I, you know I, what I'm saying? I'm going to try to get out there, man. I don't you know. even care. I, I'm going. Into what we love, 
Let's jump into college football. It's coming. Can't wait. It's coming. Can't wait. It's coming. Next Saturday. Talk about an exciting season. Next Saturday, Florida State at Georgia Tech and over there across the sea. All right. Next Saturday. That's happening next Saturday. Across the sea? Across the sea, man. Talk, speak on that. Across the sea. Yeah. Everybody's doing these like Ireland and England and all these games now. Like, mm. you know, the NFL started with it and now, right, um, right, right. You know, I mean, now colleges are doing it. I believe last year it was like um, Georgia Tech and Notre Dame mm-hmm. um, or some, like, something like that. Yeah, Georgia Tech, Notre Dame. Now it's, I believe it's Florida State and um, Georgia Tech. Um, but the realignments, no more saying like, hey, listen, you pick a sorry team on your roster, you're going to get left out. Yeah. Like, we are having juggernaut matches it's, it's throughout the season, bro. Juggernaut matches we better throughout not go the season. Not one weekend and not have an exciting you, game to watch. The, you're going to have an exciting like, game. Like, you're going to have an exciting game. It don't even matter. I mean, even the first weekend, you got Clemson at in Georgia. Mm-hmm. Clemson and Georgia. You got Miami, baby. The U at Florida. And it, it's like it's almost like they knew it. Now like, that now that might be really good. <laughs> hey, like, I'm, but it's like, going to no go lie. like this: no Miami, lie. F- Miami, Florida. Boom, Clemson, uh, um, um, Georgia. Boom, Oregon, and somebody else. You got Notre Dame and LSU wow. first weekend on Labor Day. Like you got games now that are going to be like, oh, okay, yeah. okay. Like, like it's, it's 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 about to be crazy. We ain't even gotten the conference. Like, none about conference stuff. Yet. Oh my god, you know, like. It, I just think not having the Pac-12 or you know RIP to the Pac-12 is it, it's it's almost unrealistic right now. It's like I don't even believe it. You know what I'm saying? I I, I get like, what you're saying. Like it, it. Well, first of all, it was so far away, but at the same time, it's just like man, you got jokers, jokers. You got like institutes and like colleges actually. Some of them went to the ACC. Yeah. So in California. Yeah. So let me ask you this: When when they if they got a game on Saturday, when are they leaving? Oh, I th- oh, I think leaving? it's like Thursday. I think they gotta leave like, Thursday. Now some people said they can still leave Friday. The time difference ain't gonna uh, mess with them. I'm like, nah. I, I beg the difference. That time nah. limit does mess with you a little bit. It, it's gonna it's gonna mess with but you. But they, like, they 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 claiming it. They're claiming it's not. So I don't know. But I think the teams are gonna leave on Thursday. All right. It's going to affect basketball, mm-hmm. volleyball, and all those sports. You know, to really they because play they play like, yeah, two like to two three, three games, games a week. A yeah. week. Yeah. So you, oh, I gotta go to Cal. You better have a whole California trip, Cal. Uh, yeah, Stanford yeah, and everything because yeah, yeah. you you ain't coming back like, to like, why North not? Carolina why not? to go back to go to Stanford. And, and I'm going to be honest with you, it's going to benefit them more to do that. Mm-hmm. And, and, and and I think it's going to change a lot of the rules in certain conferences as well. Like, you know, so let's say, uh, for example, we went out to uh, Fresno State one time. Okay. Like, we practiced on Thursday and we left Thursday night right after practice. Like, we got on the buses after practice. And left to fly out to uh, Fresno, you know, California, four hour flight. You yeah. know what I mean? And but it wasn't bad though. You know what I mean? So I think Thursday evening, Thursday leaving Thursday night after practice uh, would be beneficial for most of those teams. But just like you said, basketball is going to affect basketball really bad. Uh, it's going to hit uh, a lot of other sports as well, like baseball. You know, yep. um, with them playing, you know, and we all know, like we, we we've been there before. And playing Division One ball, one of the worst things about playing Division One ball is to travel. Yes. Like, you literally going, like, if you traveling eight hours away, all right, you got to go get on, go to practice. You got to get on the bus mm-hmm. to go to the airport, yep. to get on the plane, yep. fly to mm-hmm. get off the plane, to get on another bus and drive maybe another 30 minutes. Like, mm-hmm. the travel is so crazy, man. Yep. Like, it's, it's crazy. So, you know, um, I, I just hope that they can – you know they can maneuver it, but obviously we know that in conferences there's going to be some more rule changes because because of that. Yeah. Like I I just couldn't imagine, you know, being um being being a cow and having to go all the way to all the way to Miami. Yeah. That's what right. we play. We have to go to Kyle yeah. this year. So oh, okay, but yeah. like so, you know, like I, that's, I that's, get it, and it, wow, I, I think 100 percent like you hit a, I think. They always like right, make a big splash, fix it later. Right. You know, make a big splash, fix it later. So I think that's what they're gonna do because they're eventually gonna have to say, all right, listen, y'all on y'all east, right. y'all gotta be the yeah. east, and y'all, you know, like SEC, I believe it used to be like, oh, the west, you play all the west, and you have one crossover game. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's how. That's how. You so I know, like this year, they're trying not like, oh no, everything's blown up. You can play whoever and everything, so we can have a great games. But I figure, I that think, is. I that think that it's is. going to come back. Unless, but I mean, they all making schools are making more money. Yeah. 
So it's not like they don't have the money to do it. But I just feel like, kind of like what you're saying, change it up a little bit. You're the East. You're the West. Y'all have one or two crossover games a year. That's it. But, like, your conferences are now so stacked. Yeah. It's going to be hard. Like, I mean, Oregon has to go to Ohio State and Penn State or something like that. Like, that's a that's that's big on them, yeah. you know. But it's like at the same time, like it's what the people wanted to see. Yeah, that, like that's I wanted that's to true. see these games. That's true. Like I, I'm I'm excited. Like I'm not Miami schedule this year is okay. It's you know what I'm saying it's a good enough schedule for what we got right now. Right. Um, but I, I I would love to see Miami play. Uh, uh, one or two more SEC schools, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. a Big Twelve school, a Big Ten school. No, like really I, nice I would love that's to really see that more and more. And I think what's going to happen. You yeah. know what's going to happen. But um, so we'll see. We'll see. I'm excited though. I think a lot of um, good games are going to be played. Mm-hmm. Um, I want before we go on to our, the last topic of the night. Uh, I want you to give me three dark horses and who, and then give me your top three who have a chance to win it. So three dark horses that can dark win the horses. championship. Okay. And or do you want to just make the playoffs? Do you want to do championship or make the playoffs? We Which got one? 12 in the playoffs now? Yeah, 12 in the playoffs. Yeah, so you want to do three dark let's horses? Stay, let, let's stick with the three and let's – To make right, the championship yeah. or the do, let's to stick, let's playoffs? Let's three dark horses. To win the championship. To win the championship. Okay, so and, three and dark horses to win it and then three that you think – Possibly can win it. And like, then right now. when we get into the meat and the cheese of the season a little bit, we'll come back to yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's All do right. it. All right. All right. So, championship. Now, I'm, I'm going to hate to say this one. And everybody, you know, it's going to be. Are you, which one are you going to start with? Dark horses or are you going to take your top three? Uh, let's start with the dark horses. Okay. Give dark me a horses. three dark horses that can win the championship. Man, you put them on spot with this one. God, man. Three dark horses to win the championship. I'm gonna go with um, I'm gonna go with Penn State. Okay, Penn I'm, State. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say Penn. I'm gonna say with Penn State. I think they ended up. Uh, I think they ended up number. I think the top ten came out recently. Yeah, the top twenty five. I don't. Oh, yeah, pay something attention. like that. I, I never pay attention. If to I'm that. not mistaken, I think Penn State ended up being number seven or number eight. They're up there. They're I, in the I top could be 10. wrong. They're, I think no, they're in the top ten. They are. Um, I think Penn State. Uh, well, I actually, actually watching them. Last year, man, they 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 got they got a nice squad, man. Franklin got got it going on over there, and I think they gonna they just gonna continue to climb and get better. Um, I like what Freeman's doing at Notre Dame, so Notre Dame will be my second one. Okay, okay, uh, that's he, a good uh, one. Yeah, you can you can just tell the changes that they're making and how uh, how those players are looking and how they um how they just how they show themselves, at, you know, Saturday in and Saturday out, you know, how they how they compete. Um, and hmm. My last one, my last dark horse, and I think this is a team that um, a lot of people are not paying attention to, but I got to go with my alma mater, the, the University of Mississippi, a.k.a. Mississippi State. Oh, Miss. <laughs> the, the flagship. What is it, Land Sharks? The, yeah, 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 he, know, he knows. <laughs> that boy know, you know. But, you know, and, and not just saying that, like, not just saying it because, you know, that that's my school, but, like, you know, it comes a time where, you know, like, we're we're starting to get those recruits that we couldn't pay for yeah. ever. You yeah. know, not not even uh, not even just with NIL, but even before that. Like yeah. we like when I say couldn't pay for, I don't mean like under the table, but I mean it's just like no, you meant under the table. We no, know SEC schools. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> but like you know, just when you think about like like oh, we gonna go to Mississippi. You going to Mississippi? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you you, it, it's not. It, it used to not be a good selling point, but now it's a little bit different. So those are my three dark horses, man. Ooh, and I'm, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm going to stick with them. I'm going to stick All right. by them. You know All right. So I just want America to remember, I did say Washington was a dark horse last year. And what game did they get to? The championship game. <laughs> this man. So America, it, I know. I know some of y'all are saying that. So, oh, what is Chris hey, talking about? Know Chris but did. Chris knows Chris things. Did. I just know things. I told y'all about Washington last year. I'm going to tell y'all about three dark horses this year. Right? Let's go, Chris. Y'all going to be like, Let's oh, go, what is Chris, Chris talking about? Let's uh, go, Chris. But Chris knows. Let's go, okay? Chris. Now listen. I don't care what anybody says. This is my, this this first pick is biased. One hundred percent. Why? Why is it biased? It's biased though? because I, I like I like the coach. I don't care what everybody says about him. Y'all know where I'm going with. I'm wearing I'm wearing black today. Colorado. Yes, that's my first star course. I don't that's care. A, a, a. I think yes, they sir. have yes, tons sir. of athletic that's ability. A good one. And if you that, keep Sador Sanders upright, y'all going to have a that's chance. A good one. That's okay. A really good one. That, I'm gonna put, no put that no out doubt. there. Okay. No that's doubt. my dark horse. No doubt. All right. I like that. Good luck, Coach Prime. I see you. Let's go, Coach Prime. Another dark horse. Okay. People don't. 
People are sleeping on them. You don't see the tone people change. Are fu- people are sleeping the tone on them. On y'all now. People are sleeping on them. And I don't like. Who they sleeping on, Chris? I don't. It, it pains me to even say this team. <laughs> it literally pains me to say this team. But I'm going to say it because they're a dark horse now. That's the sad part. They are a dark horse now. Who is it, it is Chris? The Clemson Tigers. The Clemson Tigers, guys, Ooh. is a dark horse. I don't like it. I, I say it right now. But I wouldn't be surprised if they come out there and shock Georgia. I, <laughs> if they, if they shock Georgia, I would love that. Hey, I, don't I like love them. it, too. I don't like the I, Bulldogs. I hate like, Georgia. Like, hey, anyway, the but Bulldogs, I, but, I'm going to just say that. Clemson, know. man, I just, just if that quarterback plays, they know how to develop over there, okay? So, Clemson, all right, it is what it is. So we're going to bleed that, right? uh, that. My that, last that, that dark horse. Purple. My last dark horse, okay? I wanted to say Penn State. I like that. I like that pick, Jay. But to me, I always got I, – I got – when you say dark horse, you got to throw somebody out there that, like, people just are really sleeping on, right? right. So I'm about to throw a name out there that people are like, what let's, are you let, talking let, about? Let, let's let's, let's right. hear it. What Chris, are you talking about, Y'all Chris? might say – What are you talking I, about, I might need Chris? to get my head checked. Y'all might say this when I say this pick, all right? And I'm going for the gusto. That's, I say <clears throat> championship now. I'm saying championship. Oh, Lord. Okay? Here we go. Y'all ready? Y'all, are go, y'all ready? Let's go, bro. Let's go. Here we go. My last dark horse dun, 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 for dun. the 2024 season is the Missouri – you know what I'm saying, right? Tigers – is that right? Mizzou Tigers? You just saying that's that because your mic is the color of their <laughs> is, that, is, that, that, is that right? That, that's, all, that's the only reason you're saying that. Missouri Tigers? Mizzou. Mizzou Tigers? Mizzou. And the SEC? Mizzou. <laughs> I would love to see them win. <laughs> just because I hate the SEC so much. I would love to see them beat people. Because they get so close and then they lose. <laughs> but I would just love to see them beat somebody what, this what, year. Like, what, what, what would possess? <laughs> what would possess? Well, look, they, they have a lot of people coming back, okay? So that's one of the big things, okay? They just got a lot of people. You're, you're We're saying dark horses. Year, man. That's why I said Washington last year, and I was right. But Mizzou has a lot of people coming back. So I guess a lot of people are sleeping on them or whatever like that. I'm just saying it would be nice to see them, uh, you know, Beat up on the SEC because I hate every team in the SEC. So well, Missouri, you know, I, but I had know. to pick one. I said I don't throw them a bone. I'm, I'm gonna give I'm gonna give Missouri credit. Like they are that team that people have definitely been sleeping on, but they've been getting Get, better and getting yeah. better and getting better. So and and they ain't to me. They ain't getting like no big time recruits. I think their coaching system is really, really good and genuine. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And that's kind of like and, Clemson. Yeah. So I was they've like, you know they've what? been playing now. I, hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna let you slide on that one. <laughs> Cause they they been they really they really been they again. Really been I said Dark Horse America. They really been so don't be blowing up saying, "Oh, what is Chris talking about?" <laughs> I said Dark Horse, Dark Horse. That means if they if they don't do anything, who cares? I don't care. I'm just saying Dark Horses. All right, don't do let's anything. go to who let's cares? go to the people that we think <laughs> are going to win. All right, I'm going to go first this time. Yeah, go for it. Yes, All right, sir, yes, sir. and I don't care. Y'all y'all going to hate against this, but I'm going to pick them. Miami. That's right. I said it. Miami. They're you. Number one choice. Always will be the number one choice. I don't care what people say. Don't put their hands out. That's disrespectful. <laughs> Blasphemy around me. But number one choice, Miami, baby. Hey, crystal ball. I know y'all got something special down there. Y'all got the quarterback. Defense is pop. Man, just Miami. I don't even want to pick the another two. But I'm going to pick the another two just because we got to pick You two. got to. All right? Yeah, but Miami. Hey, y'all my number one. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. All right. Number two. Okay. If see not win, got. if not now win. If not now win, we'll and that's for got. Ohio State. If okay. not now okay. win. Okay. All right. All right. All right. It, 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 All right. The last two years, y'all been loaded. Y'all lose right. one game, now y'all out of it. Yeah. So if not for now sure. win. That's right. You're right. You're if right. not now win. All right. So Ohio State. Right. It's mm. time to shut, put up a shut up. Like, what, what we doing? Hey. They, okay. they, 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 they got some games they got right? to win. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. So, Respect. Respect. I li- and then I like the last like one, that. I'm not picking the SEC. I, don't, I refuse. I'm not picking Georgia. I'm not hating. picking hating. Alabama. Hating. I'm not picking Old Miss. Hating. I'm not picking uh, Kentucky, uh, all these other <laughs> I wouldn't pick Kentucky. Florida. <laughs> I'm not picking none of those. <laughs> none of them. I want to look you dead in the face, America. All right? Because I'm tired of everybody's. On the ACC. You ain't got to make no I'm speech, tired man. Of everybody. I uh, know. Uh, you right. 
I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, I got. Man. I got. I got. I, thank you for bringing me back. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you America. Make no it's speech, using, man. using cash. Got to bring me back. But uh, all right, here we go. Go for it, bro. Hey, my last one. Okay. Texas, man. Mm. Texas. Stole, all right. You stole that one from me. Listen. Stole that one from me. We know y'all got talent. Now, I know y'all have been mm. losing some running backs here and there, whatever like that. But, hey, at the end of the day, man, you're Texas, bro. You got yeah. a top quarterback. You got receivers for days. I, I mean, can y'all play defense? I, I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, we about but to find I'm out. A, I'm going to say Texas, man. We about uh, to find so out. So, those are my three. Those are my three. You know something, man? Um, Texas is one I think um, – can can surprise a lot of people, but I, I do think that, and in, 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 in all honesty, not 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 on being biased, but like playing a SEC schedule is different and difficult. It is. I I, I like I remember days where we had, you know, in 20, 2010, 2011, we played against Arkansas, Alabama, Arkansas, and Auburn three weeks back to back, and this is when Arkansas had Ryan Mallett. And they was aerating the heck out of the ball. Yeah. I mean, they had good running backs, and we all we already know, like you know, Auburn been what they been, and um, Alabama been what they been. But like having those three games, like back to back to back weekends, you talking about you you got to have a bye week in there somewhere. Yeah. You know what I mean? So um, I'm looking forward to seeing Texas do some things, uh, some things positive. But I wonder how they start to shake out around mid season game six, game seven when that mid season hit, and they've been playing. You know, you got to play. Uh, four or five SEC games in a row before you get to play, you know, like a like a mid major or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Um, or 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 even a big 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 time game, or whatnot. So I'll say Texas, man. Um, I got I got to steal I got to steal this one from you, Chris. I got I stole Texas too, but I got to steal this one from you as well. I'm, Miami, I am I, I got am, you. I am prepared. To see Ohio State do something. Oh, I thought different. you were talking about Miami. No, Miami, no, 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 no. no. I, I, you of course, sure not, of course not. Oh, okay, of course not. Of course not. I, I'm pretty sure you mean in Miami. <laughs> I but, saw my right so okay. before Ohio that. State. Of course uh, not. Okay. Um, Miami, they, they, they yeah, 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 I, yeah. I see that. But right. I, I, I think you would rather go to Miami than Ohio State, right? Okay. Uh, it's, it's, uh, never about me. It's about you, <laughs> It's about you, bro. It's about you. Talk, right. talk to us. Oh, Just for the record. For the women, yes. Oh, Miami, Ohio State. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so y'all heard of her first. Okay. Ohio, Ohio State for sure. Um, I'm, I like you know they. I know they got um, Michigan imprinted in everything that they got <laughs> going on with their, with their program. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, but la- last but not least, I'm gonna say it, and I know a lot of people don't want to hear. Oh, here it comes, guys. I'm, I'm He's about it. to say the orange. I'm, 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 I'm Go gonna ahead. say it. A lot of people don't want to hear it because. Of what it what like because of how much it's man, just say it, stop saying it. Fuck, Miami, no, nah, I, I gotta it. make a speech, man. Oh, oh now you make a speech. I can't make a speech, but now you make a speech. Oh, but it's good. Like what what happened? It shocked the whole world. I know, man. Football. We got Coach Cristobal. You know We're looking saying? great. We got a quarterback. <laughs> yeah, but I'm gonna say Alabama. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, look. Because look, you gotta think about it. They got a staff that's been there and oh, they know how to get there. Gosh, man. Like, and it, you you tell me, you tell me this. You lost the legendary if, if, Nick Saban. Yeah. You ain't winning it this year. You lost the, first the legendary year. Nick Saban. Are you Saban. kidding me? But You're going to win it the first let me, year? Let me tell you this. Oh, let me tell man. you this. Nope. Let me nope. tell you this. Do you think the athletes for Washington. They lost Kool Aid. What, what, do you think the athletes for Washington were genuinely better than the athletes at Alabama? Yes. They you won think, more you games. Th- you think so? Yes. Genuinely better. Yes. Genuinely yes, better. Yes, they won more games. So Who Washington had genuinely better athletes. All right, I'm going to say this. No, no, no. Yes. Yeah, you say yes? Yes. Crap. Ass. No. Excuse me, Lane. All right, listen. Because we got we, we ran out of time, so we're not even going to get to the NFL. Because I'm glad he brought this up. Because I'm tired of the world. I'm tired of Phil Farm Bomb, whatever his name is. I'm tired of everybody saying this Paul, crap. Paul, Paul, Paul. All right, I'm tired of this, man. <laughs> and I'm, I'm glad you brought this up. If you're going off I'm on glad, Paul, yeah. I'm with you. Go I'm, ahead. I'm going <laughs> off <laughs> on everyone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because I want to say something. To this. I want. I want to I wanna say something. Because this. It, I don't even like this team, but it hurt my heart. Florida State went undefeated. Here we go. They lost. They lost their quarterback. Here we go. So, eighty to a hundred other guys. What? They didn't make that team. They didn't. They didn't. They didn't make that team go undefeated. Oh, it was only one guy, and because one guy got hurt, you're taking away from eighty to ninety guys. If you were on that defense, if you were a defensive player, you would be like, "What the f- is going on?" 
and that's some BS. And I don't want to hear that. Well, Alabama had more talent. Oh, well, Georgia had more talent. Well, did Georgia win all their games? No, they didn't. They lost. And I'm glad they. Got and they me. lost. I'm happy and I'm tired. Is. I'm tired. Amer- I'm tired, of America. For y'all trying to put up that damn excuse. When you want to talk about oh strength of schedule, who the heck did Michigan play? You played one game of the year, Ohio State. State. That's it. And you won. Penn State, I'm glad you picked it for your dark horse and all that stuff, but Penn State has lost two games every year. And who have they been to? Michigan, Ohio Ohio State. State. Penn State can't beat them. So what are we even – you're putting Penn State up there like, oh, Penn State's a great team. Penn State – bull crap. Florida State went undefeated. Cash, you got a And they you beat gotta, two SEC schools. No, hold on. Hold on. I'm going off right now. I'm going check. off need, right we now. We need now. a blood pressure hey. check in the house. Two, is there a first aid two, kit around here? Two SEC schools. <laughs> two. Is there, is there LSU and, uh, and uh, uh, the other small school in the swamp. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> but I'm just saying, man. Wow. I, I, I'm tired. I'm tired it, of that I, argument. I get it, man. I every get it. I get every it. team. Every team has has players. Every team has great players. Every team has players that are in the NFL. If it was only Alabama and all the Alabama, I believe Washington had a receiver drafted top 10 first round. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. Uh, uh, you talk about Alabama, oh, Alabama this, Alabama that. Washington had a first rounder. Washington had two first rounders, quarterback included. So come on, man. Don't give me that. Don't give me that. Don't don't give me that. And I know Cash is telling me to wrap up. But, the but I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna break it down because I gotta come back. We, we, my mama. I don't want my mama to get mad. Man, Love man, you, mama. Minister. Right. Minister Zen. All right. So I'm Bishop good. Zen. I'm good. But um, yes, I do Apostle. believe I do believe Washington had talent. I think they had more talent. They went undefeated. They won all the games. They should have been there. They just happened to lose. That's it. They did. They had to get there. They didn't get. Like, but anyway, I just, I just do think, I, I do genuinely think, yeah, it, it shocked the world that you know Saban did what he did. But you know, sometimes when you put certain coaches in certain places with certain players, even though a couple leave, like he might, he, he might have been licking his chops, like you know what, I'm leaving Washington to go to Alabama. It don't matter who leave or who go, or who come or who go. Like I still think that my coaching staff can make this team continue to win because they're gonna be. It's, it's a difference. It's culture is different. And so, you know, I, I'm, I'm going to pick them just because of that. Like, it, it just, you know, it is what it is. They got a staff that's been there before, just like, you know, with, with, with Washington and whatnot. But uh, no disrespect to Washington because, you know, I was actually pulling for them, like, big time. Especially, like, you know, I, I was pulling for them. Like, no question. But um, shout out to them, man, for sure. So. so, hey, listen, it was fun, America. You know, just old-time OG, big arm, Jason Jones. Here Mike, at baby. It's Just Damn Sports. Mike. And it was a great show, man. I got to shout out to and thank Jason for being back. We, no doubt, we're hoping man. we're going to have him back. Man, I'll be a back, lot more. I'll be back we're again. We're hoping. Ain't no doubt. Gotti, man. Stay up, man. See you when I see you. I know you're out there handing your business. Um, if you, hey, subscribe, like, comment. Make sure you go watch um, Hip Entertainment as well. Subscribe, like, comment. Great share, content. Share it, man. Yeah, share, share it. Man. The P. Gotti yeah. Show, Dr. Cradle Lounge, Dr. Out, Dr. Cradle man. Everything, man. Shout out to all of them. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for another great show of It's Just Damn Sports, baby. Let's go. Hey, Chris, go, go ahead and flex one time. Bro, bro. Yeah, that's flex, you, man. You're going to break the camera if you flex. Dog. Look at that. He had to zoom out three times just to get your arms in there, dog. <laughs> he had to zoom out <laughs> ten times. <laughs>